Hey guys, it's Molly. If you have not been following my channel, I am an art channel. I'm an artist here in South Florida, just painting away in these times. And I did a rainbow based series where I did each base um, of a canvas, the color of the rainbow. I had some leftover paints and a long time ago, I did a half and half pour, meaning half color on one side, half color on the other. So I thought, perfect, I have all these colors left. Why not do a half and half, but do it with the colors of the rainbow? Let's go. All right, guys, don't think I'm crazy. This is a little bit bigger canvas. This is not part of the rainbow series necessarily but I had the white and the black left over and I thought, why not? I haven't done a half and a half in a long time. Why not do one of these? So I think I'm gonna stick with this little kind of weird puddling that I've been doing. I always have to remind myself, don't put too much paint on there, Molly. Ooh, just like that. See, using these bigger cups, it's really hard not to just or the paint. So I am going to use all the same colors of the rainbow in here since I had them already and I'm not going to let paint go to waste if I can help it. Maybe this one I'll just do like that. Um, I don't know. And then the green, the green always scares me a little bit, but okay. All right, here's my silver coming through. Use up the last of it. Say goodbye to the silver, guys. I don't really have much more either, so I think I'm gonna blow just up this way and out this way and then leave the negative space on both sides. So we'll see if that works. I'm not gonna blow the colors over this time because I have the silver to create the lacing that I want on either side. So let me give this a torch. And let's go. Okay, that side I like, I like. Um, I think to maybe, I really liked my motion that I had here. I think maybe I'll turn it to do, uh-oh, maybe stuck. Yeah, and then I can blow a little bit better. So right here, you guys can see, because I didn't have enough white down right there, um, the color started to kind of get jagged in there. So what I'm going to do is pour just the tiniest bit more of white right there. And then helps it move just a little bit better. I might have to fix that little part right there. Okay, I'm going to blow out this way. The only part, hmm, I think the only part that I'm going to have to fix is this right here and this right here. So let me fiddle with it and then I'll show you the dried result. Okay. I very much so like this painting. Super cool. There's all the cells from the silver and the black and the white. I really, really like it. I added just a little interest in the center, some curly cues that will dry, I think, nicely. Softened those edges out over there. But all in all, I really like this piece. All right, you guys. I'll show you when it's dry. 
All right, guys, here this is, I wanted, I'm outside on my little table that you guys always see me on. So I wanted to show you how beautiful this one turned out. Oh, I love it. I love all the negative space up there. I really, really like this piece. Let me see if I can get it like that. Dried exactly the way that you see it. Absolutely gorgeous. All right, you guys, just a little one for you. Leftover paints can be magic, huh? Thank you for watching. Happy painting. Bye.